So as we all know, I think it's safe to say that school is trash, all right? Like, I don't think there's really any debate for that. That topic is not up for debate whatsoever. But here are some of the things that we just all hated about school in general. First, we gotta start off with the fact that you gotta raise your hand, bro. Like, I should be able to just get up and go to the bathroom. I shouldn't have to be like, um, actually, teacher, can I go use the bathroom? Like, I should be able to go. That's a basic human right. The fact that I'm being deprived of that is making me think that I'm in a prison. Like, come on now. I mean, now that I think about it, everything correlates. The food Food's trash. We gotta raise our hand or ask permission to go anywhere. I don't know, man. I think I'm onto something. But nah, why do I gotta raise my hand to go somewhere? I really gotta make a whole ass scene when I'm going to the bathroom. That's crazy. And what's even worse is when the teacher doesn't see you. If they're just casually going about your lecture and your hand's been up in the air for like ages. At that point, I'm just going to the bathroom. Screw what they say. I don't even want to be bothered trying to wait for them to actually look at me. There's no point, bro. Especially if I really gotta go after burrito day at lunch, bro. Like if it's she just let me sit there and wouldn't be good. If that's the case, she really wants her entire classroom to smell like an Arby's. That's crazy. Next up, we got homework. Fuck homework. Whoever invented homework has to be on another type of evil, bro. I don't know who enjoys homework. Um, actually, I love homework. It retrains your knowledge. Bro, shut the- I'm not trying to do more school when I get home. I already did seven hours of school for the day. I'm practically tapped out. I'm hanging up the hat. It's over. And if I do, my brain's just gonna be fried 24-7. And if I do, especially if I get, like, hours of homework at night, I'm gonna be overstimulating myself with knowledge, and it's not even gonna help my brain at all. There's really no point to it, I'm not gonna lie. Now, next up, we got the classes, of course. A lot of the classes were useless. I mean, sometimes gym class was fun, but sometimes we really had to do, like, a shit ton of push-ups and conditioning, and it was just really annoying. I'm a high school graduate, and I can say that most of the classes I haven't even used in my entire life. Personally, I really don't see a point in taking geometry. Like, seriously, I, I don't get the fucking point of this. We had to learn some goofy-ass formulas, like, like, what the hell is this? Or calculus? Like, fuck calculus. Like, seriously, it got to a point where math was in an entirely different language. Bro, that shit might as well have been hieroglyphic. Next one we got, yeah, this one's, this one's really specific, but it's definitely happened to all of us. Where the teacher bends down to help another student and her fucking ass is in your face. Nah, you're crazy for that. I'm not trying to look at some old lady ass, bro. And if I see some of y'all in the comments that say, hear me out, nah, you down bad for real. And why would she always take forever, too? Like, I had to just just awkwardly look at my desk and, and look at the drawings and beautiful art that people created. Wow, this is a nice drawing of an eggplant on my desk. Interesting. And who the fuck had the time to draw SpongeBob in a single class period? That's crazy. But yeah, man, it really goes to show that school's boring as fuck and we'd much rather be doing anything else. Next up for certain, we can say the food, bro. What the hell? Like, what kind of mutant contraption is this, dog? I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that school lunch, it doesn't even look edible. And it's worse than prison food. And the worst thing was is that the lunch ladies would always force you to take a fruit for a side. And then when you look at the options that are available, they'd all be rotten as hell. So you just end up in the trash anyway. So what's the big deal? There's no point. That shit looked dirty as hell, bro. Ain't no way they washed it. So we truly were being fed garbage. So I just decided to bring my own lunch in middle school. And I said, fuck school food. And you know what? I was so much happier with my packed lunch. I didn't give a shit about pizza day or anything because it's not like they would get it from Lil Caesars. They would use like some doodle-ass toaster oven pizza. And they would have the audacity to charge us a dollar for a slice. Nah, that's criminal behavior. I can't believe they're trying to rob us like that, man. Even though we know it's four bucks for a full box of them. And I remember at one point they did raise the price to like a dollar fifty or two dollars. That's practically highway robbery. Goddamn. Next up, we got the wake-up times. Why the fuck do I gotta wake up at 6 a.m. just to go to a doodle-ass school, bro? That's crazy. And sometimes it was before 6 a.m., which is crazy. I guess people could argue oh, they're getting you ready for the working world. I mean, I guess some jobs require you to get up that early, but most jobs don't. And some people have late night shifts, so they have to stay up really late. So why make school early? I don't know. My school day started at 7.15, bro. 7.15? Why the fuck is it so early? And I had to catch the bus at 6.30. And if the bus wasn't there on time, that was on me that I was late, which was really fucking annoying. In some of my classes, I deadass got penalized just because the bus was late. So once I got my license, you bet your ass I drove to school because the bus is definitely the next thing that we all hate about school. Are you fucking kidding me? You was trying to sit on a musty ass yellow Twinkie for an hour. And I'm glad I never have to do that shit again, personally, because some people would just be on your head for no reason. Like sometimes you just get flipped.
flames, there'd be roast battles happening in the back of the bus, they could be dealing shit back there, anything. And the last thing you want to be a part of is the bus. And not to mention, the bus driver sounded like they smoked a pack of goddamn menthol cigarettes every day. And every time the kids on the back of the bus would be loud, it would only increase my headache when the bus driver was like, Hey, you kids need to shut the fuck up on the back of the- It would only make my headache worse, bro. Like, it, it was not helping. Next up, we got teachers that were just ops, bro. Of course we hated this part of school. Like, seriously, there's really no point in being an op. Like, come on. I, and I guess these teachers have some sort of power trip, and they're really out here doing the most to try to be your worst enemy in school, bro. Like, I'm not trying to have beef with an old head. That's crazy. But apparently, they want the smoke for whatever reason. I don't know. So let's go, bro. I'm not letting anything slide. I want all the smoke then. Throw these garbage-ass assignments at me. Do whatever the hell you want to handicap my grade. But, bro, I'm still passing your class. I'll find a way. I'll do what I can. Everything in my power to never see your bitch ass again, bro. And it's crazy that these dudes think they're, like, elite-level bosses. Bro, you literally are in a school. I'm just gonna say it now. Teacher salaries are dookie. And they most likely hate their job, too. I don't know why they would settle for that. The only thing they like about it is they have power over kids. Yo, that's weird. We don't need a pause after that. Next up, we got bullies and, like, these douchey popular kids. Fuck them, bro. They really think they're above you just because they're higher on the social hierarchy than you are. And once high school's over, their popularity's never gonna see the light of day again. So I don't know why the fuck they're out here thinking they're, like, a big baller. Like, there's no need to pick on someone who's lower on the social hierarchy. Like, there's no fucking point. If anything, that just makes you look pathetic. That you're trying to assert yourself as dominant in a high school. I mean, we're all in the same place, for God's sake. We're just trying to get through this shit at the end of the day. Even if they were a furry, I wouldn't pick on them. I mean, I guess you do you. I think it's weird personally, but I'm just gonna mind my business. There's really no point in starting beef. Like, why? Next up, we got the standardized test. Now, of course, these standardized tests did not assess knowledge whatsoever. It was kind of just like how good you are at test taking. That's really all it measured. And obviously, if Gen Z's got the attention span of a goldfish, a lot of us are not good test takers, myself included. If I can't even pay attention to myself recording a video, ain't no way am I a good test taker. That's just not happening. And plus, some of these standardized tests would be held on Saturdays, bro. Like, nah, bro, I'm trying to enjoy my weekend. And not to mention, just tests in general were really annoying. A lot of teachers wouldn't even give you, like, a study guide or just, like, an idea of what to study. They'd just be like, nope, you're on your own. And they'd say, like, yeah, just study the entire year's worth of material in one night. Like, how am I even supposed to do that? At that point, I'm just gonna cheat and risk it all. Because I'm not gonna be able to remember that knowledge all in one night. There's no way. Next up, we got teacher's pets. Oh my god. I don't know what it was about these motherfuckers, but they just annoy me to no end. Now, I get it. Everybody be doing the most to try to get good grades, but these kids just took it to a whole nother level. Like, they'd rat out the whole class for not doing their homework. They'd be like, um, teacher, about the homework, obviously, no one did it. And they knew that. So they were doing it on purpose. Which, bro, really? Class was about to end, dog. Like, I'm trying to go home. If you were to answer a question in class, right? These kids would be the type to fucking correct you when you answer your question. Like, dog, I didn't ask for your input. And maybe this was a reason why they got bullied. I don't know. Of course, if they were being really annoying, they're bound to get shoved in a locker. It is what it is. So that's why I would just keep my mouth shut. I'm not trying to get shoved in a locker. And speaking of lockers, yeah, that's definitely next, bro. Who in their right mind is gonna sit there and be like, yeah, man, I really love the amount of space we get in our lockers. We were supposed to carry all these big ass books, but we get these small ass lockers. It made no sense. And at the end of the day, when everyone would try to get their stuff, the lockers would just be crammed. And there was no way I was even able to get to my locker. So yeah, these things about school were just really fucking- Yo, I don't know what it was about locker rooms, but Jesus Christ, you don't know what you're gonna see in there. I mean, I don't know how bad the girls' locker room is. I can't speak for them, but Jesus, the boys' locker room is just on a whole nother level of Ass. Like, no pun intended, some dudes really be throwing it back in there. Like, it's crazy. Like, one day you could walk in and just see the most random shit you have ever seen. Now, changing in there is just hell on earth, all right? Like, there's just so many people in there, there's no room. And plus, sometimes you just be self-conscious when you're changing. I mean, who knows if people are looking, and I'm not trying to find out. But obviously, I dip the fuck out as quick as possible. I'm not trying to wait around and see what kind of bullshit goes down today. One time when I left the locker room, some kids were, like, walking out of the locker room. They would be like, Yo, he was beating it in there. Holy shit. Some dude really opened up a tab of that hub, bro, in the gym bathroom. You are down bad. First of all, I, you shouldn't even be watching that in the first place. Second of all, why the fuck are you doing that shit in the gym bathroom out of all places? Like, how do you even feel, like, watching it in that moment? Like, oh, yeah, man, that smell of sweaty boys really gets me going. Like, yo, all right, all right, pause, pause, pause. You get the point, though. I don't know how, out of all places, the locker room is, like, their go-to place to do that. Like, bro, how do you think like that? How do you behave like that? Like, who? 
who, who are you, bro? Like, are you even a real person? Now, sometimes just the weirdest conversations go down in the locker room. Like, I don't know what these people are talking about sometimes. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I don't know how it even gets there. Like, I don't know how many times I've heard this question come up in the locker room. Me and my brother, the duck, all right? We're twins, right? And I don't know how many times people have said to us, um, well, you, you guys actually have to shame dick shot. Bro, please never say that. Only in the locker room will you hear that shit. Like, God damn. Yo, like, bro, why are you trying to find out? Like, what the, what the heck? For me personally, I, I think it's mad weird. I mean, it's uncomfortable for the both of us. And hell, even for you. Like, bro, why are you asking that question? But don't even get me started on the fucking axe bombs, bro. Holy hell. I don't know what it was about middle school locker rooms, but it, the smell was just ingrained in the locker room. It just would never go away. Like, it was just permanently stuck there. That's how many people were throwing axe bombs. Like, I, I genuinely felt like I was going to choke to death some times when I walked into the locker room because fucking Christ there was so much axe that was just sprayed and plus who even uses axe bro axe it just it gets rid of the girls bro the, the girls don't be popping out once you get axe bro the girls just fucking run away axe is booty cheeks bro I don't know who who be using axe especially the dudes that don't shower that th they think spraying axe is gonna make them smell good nah bro it's just like you smell like axe and must like bro that ain't gonna mask your discord moderator cheeto eating ass smell like that's still gonna be there now that's crazy that people think it can really hide the smell of must with axe no you cannot bro like if you haven't showered in like a week and you're use an axe you're only just gonna smell worse bro it ain't gonna help you and what does this have to do with the locker room you might ask well some people sweat in gym class and then they just fucking spray axe all over themselves thinking that's gonna help like nah bro that, that ain't gonna help i mean i'm not trying to shower at the school i mean me personally i'm not taking a shower but bro i mean axe out of anything like i mean i'd be putting on like some fucking deodorant or some shit afterward but axe axe literally reminds people of a fucking gym locker room so i don't even know why you'd be using that shit. and now there's a reason why i just didn't even bother putting my shit in the lockers in the locker room i literally just left everything in my backpack and i just left my backpack somewhere else because i don't know what it is but if you leave something valuable in the locker room that shit is getting finessed like you are not you're not getting that back somebody stole one of those like adidas drawstring bags from me and that shit costs like 20 bucks dude nothing is safe and i literally saw the kid walking around school with my bag Ugh, i I just can't put my finger on it. I wonder where you got that bag from. And it just, oh, it just happened to be brand new as well. He'd be wearing that shit to gym class, too. He's repping that shit loud and proud. Like, people were just so shameless about it, too. Like, come on, bro. And after that, I was like, I'm never leaving anything, like, valuable out in the locker room ever again. And if I do leave my backpack in the locker room, I'm making, the, I'm making sure that shit's locked tight. Sometimes people just be fucking breaking into the lockers and stealing people's shit, too. Every time I come back in the locker room, I just have to fucking pray that my backpack is still there. Because who knows, man? Somebody could take all my school shit, too. Even though English work has no value whatsoever, doesn't matter. People will still take it. Like a year ago, bro, people were taking soap dispensers. I mean, that had no value, but people still took it. But holy fuck, I could only imagine the locker room when that trend started popping up. Luckily, I didn't have a locker room at that point. But for those of you that did, man, I pray for you. Now, sometimes there would there would be fights that go down in the locker room, just like school bathrooms. There would always be some dude scrapping. Some people would get all heated sometimes, like, hey, man, you followed me in class, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, you want the smoke? Like, damn, bro, it's just a game of basketball. It is not that deep. Maybe scrapping over the dumbest reasons, too, which is crazy. And there's always that one dude that's got his fucking phone out recording the damn thing. 240p content recorded on an Android is not gonna make World Star. Like, I don't know why this dude thinks he's gonna make it on World Star if he posts his school fight. Like, bro, we're in butt fuck middle of nowhere. Do you really think we're gonna make it on World Star? Hell no. Nah. That was kind of bold for people to assume that, but bro, in the locker room, there is always that one dude that just goes in and just fucking checks himself out i don't know after gym class or whatever it's like yo man i'm, I'm looking drippy today bro Ooh, hoo, hoo, holy shit dude just move out of the fucking way like man you don't know if somebody got a black eye or some shit and they gotta look at the mirror to see if they got a black eye they be hogging the mirrors too they and they take the snapchat pictures like hey man gotta get a flick for the ladies like what ladies bro there are no girls in your phone bro just stop just stop lying you know what bro i i ain't got any room to talk i don't know why the fuck i'm speaking bro and now of course, there's a sketchy side of the locker room. You know, th there, there were Pokemon card trades and like middle school locker rooms, but oh God, when you get to high school locker rooms, yeah, fucking forget that. You already know what kind of trades are going down in there. And plus people take their fat rips of the Elfington in the locker room and that ain't gonna help either. Like that's just gonna make the smell even worse. 
I mean, shit, it is better than must, which is fair enough, but bro. But you got me fucked up if you think I'm trying to cop an iron lung, like vaping that much, like to the point where I gotta do it in the school locker room out of all places. These people are really out here just trying to get popcorn lungs and just die at like age 35. They gonna sound like that one grandma from SpongeBob when they turn 30 and they gonna be dead by the time they're 35, 40. And they won't even make it to their midlife crisis. Oh, 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 wait. They're kind of already. They are somehow having their midlife crisis at 18 years old. Do you want to know how, guys? Do you want to know how? Because they don't get nicotine. And what do they do when they don't get nicotine? They get on their hands and knees for it and will do any... Okay, all right, I'm, I'm gonna stop myself. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. But anyways, you get the point. If somebody were to give them nicotine, they would like praise them they're like, like they're the next coming of Christ. Like they're just so down bad for it. But it's just horrible that addictions make people do that shit. Like bro, just don't even do it in the first place. Like fuck you doing. And they're like, please bro, please. I I'll do anything. I'll do all your homework for the next month, bro. If you give me that pod, bro, please, please. Wow, that is crazy. You just admitted to being the nerd emoji. Like bro, that is a dookie ass deal. Why are you making that shit? I mean, shit, people will do anything for for it. I I'm serious. Even if they have to become the embodiment of the nerd emoji for the next month, they'll fucking do it. And now there were some pros of the locker room. I mean, sometimes th there just be functions in the locker room. I don't know what it is, but you just walk in and everybody's playing some loud ass music, turning up. This for me was usually before my football games. I know I don't sound like I played football. Well, I just sat on the fucking bench, but still, you know, I turned up to it. I enjoyed my time. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I fucking hated it. I hated every second of it. But hey man, the functions were crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. If and if we want to game oh shit like bro it's over the locker room about to be blaring like whole lot of red or some shit but now the types of kids in the locker room really get brazy like there was always that one dude that would just like grab a towel and start whipping people with it i don't know why like and there would always be that kid that's really sus in the locker room bro really be asking for everybody's dick size like he gets a piece of paper he takes a note he takes a note of everybody's like dude what the fuck are you? Those types of kids in particular were on Demon. Like, I don't know what was up with them. The sus kids were always the longest to change, man. I don't know. They were checking other dudes out, I think. I think that's what was going on. Maybe that's why they took so long. I don't know. There's always that one dude that doesn't change either. Or just forgets his gym clothes. And he gotta be running around in jeans. That is just tragic. Thankfully, that was never me. Or some people, hell, they even be dressed for a presentation. They walk in and holy fuck, they're like, shit, I gotta run around in this suit. Like, you're just fucked, bro. You're Screwed. But there was always that dude that was just like trying to change. And that was me. I was the dude that was trying to change. I was not trying to stick around in there. Like, hell nah. Like, me personally, bro, I would have been the next type of kid if I did stick around in there. The kid that always gets bullied. Yeah, nah. Like, I'm definitely not trying to be that type. Because if I am that type, I'm getting shoved into a locker while I'm at it. And, you know, if anything, bro, I don't think I'm gonna be getting out of the locker. Or, hell, maybe I can because the lockers fucking suck. Bro, there's also that rambunctious dude. Like, the guy that just fucking be slamming the locker, screaming. Or just the dude that thinks he's the main character in general. He's always like, hey man, who's ready to get this locker room hyped up? And then no one fucking says anything. Like, Brody, it's seven in the morning, it's first period, no one is getting amped for you, I'm sorry. Like, we all looking half dead over here. Like, if, if somebody just fucking tapped us on the shoulder, we would fall over. And now, in the locker room that I was in, there were like two showers, that's it. And sometimes people would shower after gym, like if they really had to. And bro, there was always those dudes that would harass the poor kids trying to take a shower like god damn bro like that's why i just never jumped in the shower bro like i'd rather be a little musty after gym class and going in that fucking shower like I, I did not want anything happening to me bro bro i did everything i could to just avoid people and just stay out of people's way man i was not trying to be the punching bag but anyways yeah people were really brazy in the locker rooms back in the day schools have like the worst rules of all time still to this day like i don't understand how some of these rules slide i don't know i gotta raise my hand to do any human function like if i have to go to the bathroom and i really gotta piss and the teacher says no like i'm fucked like what am i gonna do just piss in my pants hell not and now we're gonna look at the history of school punishments from then versus now and now starting off we got the dunce cap now a lot of you probably don't know what this is but basically what this was is a cap that you'd put on a kid's head for misbehaving and it just said it said the word dunce on it no shit but any Anyways, yeah, they'd stand in front of the room while the whole class laughs at them and just
just just marvels at them like they're some kind of zoo animal i guess the teachers cooked this one up back in like the 1800s because they thought the kids wearing the dunce cap would feel humiliated and never would want to do that again so it was also used for people who were slow learners so i would have been wearing this john all the time so i mean yeah the school system in general is just shit to begin with but holy fuck i did not realize how shit it was before but getting humiliated is already a fucking terrible punishment as it is but you know going down the ladder these teachers were just cooking up the most diabolical punishments known to man and then sometimes i'd just be grinding on homer or whatever a project over the weekend just to get a boo fast grade like why why do grades even exist like like sometimes i'd be cooking up like long ass cooks like 3 a.m cook-ups and i still get a fucking f bro it's ridiculous now getting an f has been around for fucking ages since like school started and yeah even though i work hard on these assignments and shit i still be getting f's like i don't understand how maybe i'm just fucking stupid i don't know like sometimes you don't do one little thing on the project and your grade gets deducted so much like i don't wonder why why and like your grade determines your entire self-worth at this fucking school or prison whatever the hell you want to call it practically the same thing bro and at this point your entire self-worth is held by the numbers so if you had a 1.0 gpa unfortunately in the 1800s your ass was probably wearing the goddamn dunce cap the grading system still has a shit ton of flaws and homework still exists for some reason i don't know why but anyways as we move to the late 1800s the punishment of sitting in the corner was created and this punishment of course whenever you did something wrong or the teacher deemed as wrong she put your ass in the fucking corner and you'd be sitting there for i don't know like 30 minutes an hour two hours sometimes hell even the entire school day and i guess the point of this one is you gotta sit there and reflect on what you did while you're sitting in the corner because fuck what else are you gonna do just stare at the wall and watch the goddamn paint dry the entire time no and you're not if you're not actually teaching them what they're doing wrong bro it's not gonna fucking work and i guess that's how people in the 1800s operated they thought oh yeah we just have them sit at a fucking wall and stare at it they'll eventually learn what's wrong and right like how does that even work bro what the f but this next one was really fucking painful bro i don't know if any of you had to do this like in your schooling career but what these kids would have to do was put their hands over their heads and just hold it there and some of you might be like ah well that's not too bad try holding your hands over your head for 20 minutes and then tell me how you feel after yeah it fucking sucks it's kind of like that feeling like when you have your hand in the air and you, the teacher just isn't looking in your direction and you're sitting there for five minutes looking stupid as hell while the whole class is looking at you yeah i might be the only one who experienced that i'm not gonna lie who came up with this idea bro it was literally just a waste of time bro like what the fuck is the point of this like i'd rather do fucking push-ups or some shit like i don't know my arms will actually get stronger that way rather than just holding them up in the air but as we move on to the early 1900s this punishment kind of still exists to this day but to a less uh severe standard so pretty much kids would have to write something like a hundred times on the board to apparently learn that th they'll never do it again and oh trust me it fucking worked i had to do it yeah so in first grade my teacher was a fucking old head right and i basically was talking to my friend the entire class bro like me and my friend were neighbors we would do fucking everything together so we were in this class together and we just would not shut the fuck up so at the end of class my teacher was like all right i'm sitting you guys down and you have to write i will not talk in class 20 times i'm like oh hell no nah, what the fuck and nah, i thought this was like some kind of boot camp ass punishment bro i was like there's no way they could get away with this this is so terrible but but oh this fucking next one man i don't know how the hell they got away with this to be honest with you bro so they used to hit students on the hand with the ruler like if they write with their left hand or they would hit them with paddles like if they did something bad definitely not showing any footage of it just to be safe i don't want to get fucking demonetized out here i mean this video probably already did to be honest with you but yeah i don't know how the fuck people decided to cook this up and thought it would work like what beating the sense out of them that's not gonna do anything bro if anything bro that's gonna make them feel like they're walking on eggshells 24 7 and they're gonna be like super afraid to make a mistake like i don't know why they thought that was gonna fix anything bro and if you were a lefty you were basically fucked because what are you gonna do right with your right hand nah you're gonna get slapped senselessly with that goddamn paddle for how bad your penmanship is like who cares what hand they fucking write with like i don't know why it's it was that big of a deal but yeah the school system just really got to pull up their ass i don't know and sometimes they literally would do it in front of the class too which was so fucking weird but eventually they banned this in all schools in like 1999 i think 
I don't know. This is the first time I've done research for a video, so cut me some slack. So yeah, they couldn't punish by violence anymore. So they had to resort to other things that were just really stupid. Like, I don't know why these even existed. The island punishment. A lot of you probably got this, like, in the early 2000s. I sure as hell did in first grade. I definitely got this punishment for sure, bruh. And basically what this is, is you have to sit alone by yourself on an island, as they call it. Like, just a desk away from everybody else. Like, nah, bro, that's just dehumanizing as fuck. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. And then everybody's just fucking staring at you because you're by yourself. Like, nah, bro, it's so weird, bro. It's so fucking weird. I was put on an island one time, bro. It was the weirdest fucking experience of my life. People were just staring at me and I was just sitting there fidgeting with my fucking pencil the whole time because I had nothing better to do. Like, what else am I supposed to do, bro? And of course, I was crying like a little bitch, too. I just could not handle it, bro. I could not handle the heat of being on an island. I mean, that didn't teach me shit about not talking in class i'm just gonna be honest because it happened multiple times after that but what did teach me was the cards y'all know the cards y'all know the cards i'm fucking talking about the green card the yellow card and the red card bro if your ass got the yellow card you got a warning bro you were almost about to be sent to the principal's office and if you got a red card it was over your ass is going to the principal's office it's over it's wraps your ass is getting sent to the gulag bro but anyways i didn't want to go to the principal's office is absolutely not. After experiencing the torture of the island and the I will not talk in class punishment, there was no way I was going to the principal's office. Absolutely not, bro. So I got a yellow card once and then I cried like a bitch until I got it back to green. Like, I'm so serious when I say that, bro. But when you do go to the principal's office, there is a host of different punishments that you can get. It's like a whole ass choose your character type shit, bro. Like the principal is out here deciding your fate. Like he could very well get you expelled depending on what you did. But anyways, the options were detention, suspension, ISS, expulsion, or social suspension. Yeah, this one was kind of stupid, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Like, what the hell is the point of this? I don't know. But anyways, detention, the teacher would choose how long they get to sit in a classroom with you. Like, why would they even volunteer to just throw their time away like that? I don't fucking know. It was it's just purely a waste of time. Like, nothing gets done here. Why? Why is detention a thing, bro? Like, I don't fucking understand it, but suspension. Of course, it can either be ISS or out of school suspension. ISS is so chips, bro. That shit is fucking garbage, bro. I never got ISS before, but I've had some friends who've had ISS and all they had to do was sit in a little fucking office for the entire day. And they didn't even have their computer either. They were just stuck writing shit all day. Oh, hell no. I would have jumped out the fucking window. I don't care how big the fall is, bro. I'm still taking that goddamn fall because ISS is definitely the last thing I'm trying to put up with bro hell nah bro but of course suspension outside of school it's like a goddamn vacation like who wouldn't take that but i mean you get your shit taken away though so yeah not really much of a vacation if i'm being real with you but if you get suspended for a stupid ass reason and your parents understand yeah it's pretty much a vacation like i got suspended from my work once i know this has nothing to do with school and i was literally off for a week like it was the greatest vacation of my life like i suck so bad at my job they just told me you know what? You, you don't you don't even need to come in. Just stay home and play Fortnite all week. And that's exactly what I did, bro. I literally just fucking sat at home and played Fortnite all week. And now there was a punishment called social suspension at my high school. I don't really understand this one, to be honest with you. It was like, if you, if you fail two classes, you're suspended from taking part in like social activities and shit like that. But thankfully at my high school, it was basically impossible to fail. Like if you failed, man, like you just weren't trying. Like that's that's kind of how it was the lowest grade you could get was a 50 So you could fail all year and make like the greatest comeback of the fucking century if you really wanted to But yeah after getting that 40 bro, that was a rude ass awakening for me, bro I almost shit my fucking pants and yeah expulsion last on the list. Yeah, you get kicked out I mean sometimes it's for a stupid ass reason I don't know why they expel people for dumb ass reasons, but they do it I don't know they can really decide your fate if they don't like you, bro they're not rocking with you but nah people got expelled for like defending themselves it is absolutely ridiculous that like we even have to deal with that it's insane